you're looking at arguably the most popular 22 in the world. Yes, it's the Marlin, Marlin Model 60. And uh, man, this gun is a blast to shoot. If you've never shot a, a Marlin Model 60, um, I think you're missing out. Um, it, <laughs> it's a 14 round. Uh, you know, it's got a, it's a tube fed magazine, 14 rounds go in there. And uh, you go through 14 rounds pretty fast. <laughs> This is the stainless version of this gun. It does come in a black version. It's probably cheaper. Uh, I probably paid way too much uh, because it's stainless. I think I got it for like uh, 220 at a Dick's Sporting Goods. It was on sale. Uh, I know there's a lot of 22 options out there you can get for less than 100 bucks or 100 bucks. Uh, but it looks pretty cool in stainless, I think. Uh, and it's just a blast to shoot. Um, just got regular sights, nothing too special. It's that Monte Carlo walnut finish laminated hardwood stock uh, with a full pistol grip and a, a steel charging handle right here. Um, this thing is, is pr probably the, you know, with being the most popular, it's probably the strongest 22 rifle in the world. This thing is, is built rugged, built to last, I think. Um, I probably, I don't even know how many rounds I have through it or how many bricks I have through it for that matter. Um, I haven't found it to be picky with any kind of ammo. I shoot whatever is on sale and whatever is cheap. Um, that's the Winchester Super X I think is my favorite. Um, but it shoots the gold dots pretty good even though the, I think, or not the gold dots, the Remington Golden Bullets which I think suck but it does shoot them pretty good. Um, but you know any bulk ammo you can think of, it'll this thing will eat it uh, and eat it fast. I, pr I mean, I want to say I probably got I don't even know five thousand rounds through it. I don't know. You can just shoot it and shoot it and shoot it, and uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, you know, for the tube feed magazine versus or tube feed magazine, what you put the rounds in there and it, it you know tube runs down the length. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. It's pretty handy because you don't have to keep track of a magazine. Um, I did have a magazine fed Mossberg and it was kind of a pain in the ass if you lost that magazine you, you're kind of out of luck. Um, but I think it would be cool to have like a, a high cap maybe a Ruger 1022 or something like that. But in regards to the Marlin Model 60 four, 14 plus one uh, gives you you know a lot of fun. Uh, it has a 19-inch uh, barrel with the micro groove rifling. It has 16 grooves, and man, this thing's accurate as heck. Um, it does one-inch groups at 100 yards all day. Uh, you know, granted, as long as the wind isn't out messing with you. Uh, we are shooting from the bench, 100 yards, one-inch groups, and if you're, you know, closer, you're gonna hit whatever you're aiming at. Um, you know, from 60 yards, I. I put them in a dime all day, you know, and that's fast, rapid fire. The trigger on this thing is really awesome. I love, I love this trigger. Um, I don't know if you can see it. It's got some serrations in there for traction, and I like that. I like serrations in my trigger just for some traction. You can really get the tip of your finger on there to get some good uh, trigger squeezes. But uh, I don't exactly know what the trigger weight is, nor do I see it on uh, the manufacturer's website. So, but I mean, it's a 22. It's it's an awesome trigger, I think. Uh, I know you can probably do some upgrades with it. Maybe, maybe not. Not sure. Um, like I said, it's got open sights. I like these sights. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to uh, check them out or not. But uh, you got a your front sight's got the uh, bright orange front sight post on it with the hood. Uh, you have to watch that hood. It will come off. Um, you might have to squeeze it back down or something, but it snaps on there, but it will come off. Got to watch, that's, you know, maybe that's a downside, maybe not. Um, and then you just have the, the V'd rear sight, just like normal. I think these sights are good enough. Like, like I said, we were shooting one inch groups at a hundred yards with these sights. Um, your receiver is also milled for a scope. Um, uh, I haven't had real good luck with any, any 22 um, scope mounts they always move um, I don't know that your mileage may vary on that I don't know but uh, it does have a last shot hold open 
Um, it has uh, some serrations on the top of this. I guess maybe that's to help for traction. I don't know. Um, cross bolt safety. So your traditional safety when you're on red right here. You're uh, hot and ready to fire. When you're down, you're on safe. It's just a cross bolt type. Uh, been around forever type safety. Uh, used on many shotguns and rifles like this. Weight of this is uh, 5.5 pounds. Nothing crazy. I think the the stainless makes it a little bit heavier. Uh, you're getting a pretty a pretty good barrel profile on this gun. Uh, it is dirty. I haven't cleaned it, but it's a pretty heavy barrel um, for what you're getting. And I think that attributes the you know gives it some more accuracy. But uh, and then your overall length is 37.5 inches. So uh, like I said, probably you know, arguably the most popular 22 rifle in the world. Uh, it just shoots and shoots and shoots. <laughs> My father-in-law never cleans his. He's got the same one I do, do, and he's also got an older model, which he's like never cleaned for 30 years. He just blasts some 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 uh, gun oil in there and keeps rocking. <laughs> so that's just something about the reliability of these guns. Um, but definitely an awesome gun for recreation shooting, planking, whatever. Uh, you know, 14 plus one, 15 rounds, goes fast. Uh, so, it's just kind of like my two cents on the Marlin Model 60. Thanks for watching.